Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. How y'all doing? Um, <clears throat> funny uh, thing, poor Ryan Switzer. Looks like Ryan Switzer got traded yet again. Yes, exactly, almost exactly four months from when we traded um, Ryan Switzer to the Raiders. It looks like now the Raiders have traded Ryan Switzer to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And that's crazy. Um... Uh, I think they traded him. They traded him, and then they also traded one of their uh, their six round picks to uh, the Steelers. It's interesting though because um, I actually thought the Raiders were going to keep him. They would, you know, they could definitely use him as a kickoff returner. But it's funny, like John Gruden basically said, "Hey, um, you know, I, we think he's a good player, um, but." Uh, with the starters that we have, Jordy Nelson, um, remember they uh, acquired Martavius Bryant from the Steelers in the draft last year. Um, they did that trade earlier in the draft. And uh, Amari Cooper, so those are their top three wide receivers. So uh, I guess they feel like there's no room for, for Ryan Switzer, I assume. I mean, even though they could have stuck him in the slot, but it is what it is. But... Um, I just think it's interesting. I kind of feel sorry for him. To, you know, it's not easy uh, being a player and keep flopping from team to team to team because you can't really buy a home. It's almost like you're living out of a hotel or, you know, you're renting an apartment from month to month, and it's just like it sucks because it's like any day you can be traded, you know, when you're a bubble guy like that. You know, um, I actually like Ryan Switzer. I feel like the Cowboys could have used him a little better. Um, but apparently they had things that – on their agenda and they didn't need him I, I assume so that's why he ultimately was traded to the Raiders um, he did a little bit with them in off season. I think he had a touchdown he had like uh, 41 yards or whatever in preseason you know just the usual I, I'm curious to see how the Steelers are going to use him though because they do got Antonio Bryan and Juju Smith-Schuster um, I don't know how they're going to use him over there that's interesting but you know, I just look at it. I was like, you know, I just, I just, I just, I want to see, you know, Ryan Switzer excel in this league because I think that he deserves it. He's, he's a good little dude. And I mean, like, I, I really liked him when we had him. I just wish that we could have done more with him before we traded him. But hey, it is what it is. That's, that's life, you know. Um, as far as our Dallas Cowboys go, it, <laughs> I know you guys don't want to hear this, but it looks like, um, Jerry Jones is not looking to get a veteran quarterback in here. He wants to go young with this um, quarterbacks. He wants to go young with these quarterbacks, and he wants to see Dak, uh, Cooper Rush, and Mike White. He wants to see them continue to get better and better and better, and he wants to build them from the ground up. So it's this new philosophy that the, the Cowboys are having now, where they're going younger and they want to see the, they want to develop in house. Which I'm okay with that, but. Again, if if they see something that I don't see, apparently they see these these players every day. I'm not there in Texas, so I'm not I'm not there practice physically, so I'm not seeing exactly what's going on behind the cameras and closed doors. But I mean, I guess I can't do nothing but accept it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Um, but I look at it like this. Um, I hope that that uh, I know Dak's gonna be good, but I've seen Cooper Rush do some good things before. I don't know if it's because the offensive line isn't um, straight. I don't. I don't understand. I don't know if it's because we got new receivers. I, I haven't put my finger on it yet to see what's going on with with these with with um, Mike. Because that game was just terrible. Like I just, it just left a nasty taste in my mouth. But hopefully, um, the next and last preseason game, hopefully they can come in because they're going to definitely start again because Dak's not playing again. So they're going to get another opportunity to show and prove what they can do. So um, if, if they're, in fact, going to keep Cooper Rush and Mike White as the backups and they're not going to get a veteran, I just hope that Dak don't get hurt. How about that? Um, some other tidbit of news, too. Um, it's some news circulating about Randy Gregory uh, maybe getting into some more trouble. I don't know. I don't know if they're just saying. I And, and the, the stories are contradicting because what I'm getting is some unnamed source put out a tweet about him saying that he can get some more suspension time. 
And I'm like, for what? What did he do now? You know what I mean? Like, he's been with the team. I don't understand what happened. Did he fail another test? I don't understand what happened. Because you wouldn't have restated him if that was the case because you did all your tests already um, prior to that. But um, I think what they were saying was pretty much um, because any minor infraction, anything that he does from here on out, because he's had a year-long ban already, if he does anything wrong, if he sneezes the wrong way, he gets suspended. And it might be kicked out of the league forever. But uh, I just pray that he just gets it together and just stays focused because after seeing what he did in that game last night, I, I want to see him to continue to <laughs> demolish offensive lines because he has the capability. He has the talent. The, the talent is all there. The talent is definitely there. There's no issues in that department. But all I'm saying is I just hope that everything is good. Now, Jerry Jones seems to be confident that he's going to start week one. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed, and I'm going to try to stay positive on that note. I just hope that I hope that, I hope hope that 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 tweet was a bunch of BS and it was just somebody hating and blowing off steam. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have you know, for you guys. We're just waiting this week throughout this week to see who gets cut, to see who gets traded. Um, there, are also, there are also some rumors that some wide receivers might be traded. We don't know. Let's see what happens with that. I mean, we do have a stable of wide receivers. I mean, they could make some moves, but I don't know. Um, it's just, it's just nerve-wracking because you don't know exactly what's going on until it actually happens. And then when it does happen, you're just sitting there like, what? Because when that Ryan Switzer and Tavon – stuff happened in during the draft like I was actually shocked because I was there in Texas and I'm looking at my phone like what in the world but you know you never know that's the way football is it's a gamble um it's like Russian roulette you never know where you're gonna end up at that's why I said I always feel sorry for bubble players because don't buy no house don't do none of that because you don't know where you're gonna be at you're gonna get shipped and packed ready to go Sometimes they'll tell you you could be on vacation somewhere and you find out you done got traded. And then you got to run home and pack up and figure out what you're going to do. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's a crazy life. Yes, being a football player and making all that money is awesome. But at the end of the day, like, if you're not somebody that's a core player, um, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. But um, that's all I got right now, y'all. You know, like, share, comment. Thanks again to all my subscribers. This is your boy, YouTube Blue. Always keeping it real. I'll talk to y'all soon.